Hey traders, it's John Fortune here of this week's weekly forex forecast for the 26th of June to the 30th of June 2017. We're going to start as always with the US dollar index and oil and then we're going to look at a number of pairs that we're looking at this week and we're going to look at the key levels of support and resistance that we'll be looking at taking these opportunities from as well as the targets that we're going to be aiming for in those pairs. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, we go into next week with a neutral to bearish bias on the US dollar index. You can see that it's in a range denoted by these two lines here. It came up to the top of the range over here and you can see it put in somewhat of a double top in the four hour chart. It did then break down out of this upward sloping trend line and now as you can see it, it's starting to make lower lows. So next week we are looking for a potential move down to the 12148 and the bottom of this accumulation zone. However, just bearing in mind that it is in a range and so it does have the potential to pop back up and maybe retest the top of the range up here as well. So that's why we go into next week with a bearish to neutral bias and not just a bearish bias on the US dollar index. But we would be looking to see uh, potential declines next week in the US dollar index down to this level. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, oil is in a clear downtrend, uh, and you can see denoted by this trend line here. It is still beneath the trend line, it's still in a downtrend, it is still making lower lows and it is making lower highs. But the problem we have on oil, and the reason we won't go into next week with a bearish bias on oil, is because it has come down and tagged the 42.181, which is a very, very important area of support in oil and as you can see it bounced off of this support level and it's slowly making its way back up to the trend line so although we do generally have a bearish bias on oil we will go into next week with a neutral bias on oil why because it is in a downtrend but it has traded into and rejected from a very key area of support in crude oil what we would like to see in crude oil to go back to having a bearish bias on it is for it to start trading below the 4218 area of support down here. Now, if it breaks through here and it starts trading below here, we're going to be looking down to the 40.05, roughly the $40 a barrel mark on crude oil. If, however, this key area of support in oil holds and we see a break back up above the 43.75 area of resistance plus a breakout of this downward sloping trend line, then to the upside, we'll be looking for the $45 a barrel on oil. However, because it is in a large downtrend, our preference is to see it trade below the 42.18 and then we can look for a target down near the $40 a barrel on crude oil. The first currency pair we're going to look at is Euro US dollar. As you can see, Euro US dollar is in a range and we have the range top roughly at the 1.12600 area. And last week it traded into the range bottom down here, roughly the 1.1132 area of support. We've got a bounce and we're seeing a little bit of a head and shoulders pattern, which is a reversal pattern. We also have a breakout of this downward sloping trend line in Euro US dollar. So next week we're looking to initiate longs into the 1.12600 area of resistance up here at the top of the range. Now, if we get a little bit of a pullback at the start of next week, that could be a very nice opportunity to look at bullish formations and patterns in this kind of area here around the uh, 1.171 area. And if we get bullish patterns and formations in this area, we're going to look at initiating longs up to the 1.12600, which is the top of the range in the euro US dollar. The next currency pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. US dollar Japanese yen was in an accumulation area over here, and as you can see, the top of the accumulation area at 111.67 roughly, with the bottom down here at 110.300, this kind of area down here, as you can see, it was tested here, down here, 
it's tested here, broke through, pulled back over here, retested it over here. And when it broke back above the 110.300, it came back up to retest the top of the accumulation area over here, roughly at the 111.674 area of resistance. Now, all the while it sits and it trades below the key area of resistance at 111.67, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and bearish patterns in this pair. And we're going to be looking for a target next week down to the 110.300, which is another test of the accumulation bottom or the range bottom, if you like, down here. The next pair we're going to look at is pound US dollar. Pound US dollar is in a range as well. As we can see, we have a range bottom down here, 1.2643 area. And we have the top of the range, the next key area of resistance on this at the 1.2087. Now, we are starting to get a break above this downward sloping trend line here. If we start to see price trading above this downward sloping trend line, we get a little bit of a push higher. We're going to look to initiate longs from this kind of area, maybe a little pullback to the 1.2700 psychological area and a retest of the downward sloping trend line. And in this area, we're going to look for bullish formations and patterns in order to initiate longs up to the 1.2887, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair, and also the top of the range, as you can see here. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar franc. Now, the US dollar franc last week traded into and tested the key area of resistance at 0.97638. It tested it once, it tested it twice, and then over here, as you can see, it's tested a number of times as well. It started to sell off, and on the lower time frames, as you can see, it started to make a channel to the downside. So what we're gonna be looking for next week is we're going to be looking for bearish patterns and formations in this area, possibly even a pullback to retest the top of this channel line. And if we get those bearish patterns and formations in this area, we're going to be looking to take this to the downside and initiate shorts. And the target we're looking for is the 0.95860 area down here, which is the next key level of support for the US dollar franc. So if we get a small pullback in this area next week and we get those bearish formations and patterns, we will be looking to initiate shorts if they appear and if the opportunity arises down to the target of 0.95860. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now on the Aussie US dollar, we are looking to the upside and the continuation of the overall moves to the upside. And we are looking for the 0.7684 area of resistance as the next key area of resistance on this pair. However, going into next week, we do see some potential shorts down to the double bottom area here at the 0.75373 and possibly even further down to the overall target of 0.75176. Now, the only problem is this key area of support and resistance could already have been fulfilled over here. So we may only see a pullback down to the double bottom area of 0.75373. So what we will be looking for next week is some potential bearish formations and patterns to form in this area where price is now. And we'll be looking to take some shorts down at least to the double bottom and potentially further down to the 0.75167 area of support. Broken resistance over here coming back to turn into support. However, just bear in mind that it is in an overall uptrend. So if we get a move down to the double bottom area down here and we start to see bullish formations and patterns forming in this area, we're not going to be wanting to hold it down to here because if it turns around on us, not only will we get stopped out, but we will also lose the chance to get involved with this to the upside. So if we start to see bullish formations and patterns forming in this area, we will be out of our shorts and we'll be looking to reverse our positions, looking for the double top up here and then further to the 0 0.76584 area of resistance on this next pair. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now US dollar CAD has been forming a bear flag for the past number of days, as you can see. We are looking for this to continue the down move. It is in a downtrend. If we scroll back a little bit here, you can see it is making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. So we're looking for a continuation to the downside. Price traded into the significant area of resistance at 1.3308. 
it tried to break above this area and then it failed and as it failed it came back to retest this area late last week so what we're looking for is we're looking for a potential retest of the 1.3308 area of resistance here and we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns in the area that it is now or if it pulls back and retests this area up here and if we get those bearish patterns and formations in this area here we're going to look to initiate shorts and we have a target on this pair down towards the 1.30715 area which is the next key area of support on this pair now if we do get a bounce in oil next week and we also start to see a sell-off from the top of the range in the US dollar index then that would help us and you might see this selling off quite nicely to the downside if we get those two things holding in the oil and the US dollar index. The next pair we're going to look at is the euro pound. As you can see in the euro pound it is trending to the upside, it is making higher highs and higher lows. We had a pullback and a correction here. And then on the 16th of the 6th, we started to get new highs forming in the euro pound, pushing to the upside. It pulled back late last week to this upward sloping trend line here. Now, what we're going to be looking for early next week is bullish formations and patterns to form in this area here. And if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns in this area at the trend line here, we're going to be looking to initiate longs on this pair up to the 88680 target up here, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Japanese Yen. Now the Euro Japanese Yen is in a range as you can see denoted by the line down here, the 123.052 area of support. And up here at the 125.221 area of resistance, the top of the range over here. Price has started to break out of this downward sloping trend line as you can see here and it is accumulating in this area and it's starting to push a little bit higher now. So what we're looking for next week is a pullback into this area here and from this area we're going to look to initiate long positions and we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form in this area and we're going to be looking to the top of the range as the target the next key area of resistance on this pair and that is 125.221 so just to reiterate if we get a little pullback into this area maybe even a retest of the broken down sloping trend line down here near the 124 area we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns in this area and we're going to be looking to initiate longs up to the top of the range at 125.22. The next pair we're going to look at is Pound Yen. Now Pound Yen has been moving down like this in a downtrend, making lower lows, lower highs. We did get a pullback and we got a test of the 142.196, which is a key area of support and resistance, as you can see, tested numerous times, once, twice, three times, and then again over here, again over here, and twice here as resistance. It sold off pretty heavily last week, as you can see from this level, and it has started to move up and correct itself. So as long as it stays below the 142.196 area of resistance here, we are going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns, possibly even where it sits now. It may come up and retest this key area of resistance, 142.196. However, we're going to be looking for them pretty much from the off next week. And if we get the right kind of bearish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to look to initiate shorts and we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down to the 138.288 target down here, which is the next key area of support on this pair. So just to reiterate, we may get a little pullback into the 142.196, in which case we'll be looking to initiate short positions from this area. But if we start to see the right kind of bearish formations and patterns from where it is now, early on next week, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts on this pair down to the next key area of support, which is 138.288. The next pair we're going to look at is Pound Frank. Pound Frank has also been in a downtrend for quite a while now, making lower lows and lower highs. As you can see, we've got a big pullback here, which started around the 12th of the 6th. And once we got up to around the 1.244 area, we started to sell off. And now last week, we had this kind of corrective pattern forming. The 1.23817 area of support and resistance is fairly important in this pair. As you can see, it's tested a number of times. And I know this hasn't come down and actually touched it, but these are areas. These are not specific levels. So it has been tested a number of times and now it's broken down and failed as a support level over here. We are looking for this to become a resistance area and to push price to the downside and a continuation of the overall downtrend. 
Now, price has come very close to testing this level twice, so bearing in mind that these are areas, we could say that this has already been fulfilled. So going into next week, we are now going to look for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area, and we have a target to the downside of 1.2216. Now, the 1.2216 is a very key area of support on this pair. We could see a bounce from this area, so we will be looking to take our profits at the 1.2216 area if we get the right kind of bearish formations and patterns forming in this area early next week. And finally, the last pair that we're going to look at is Aussie New Zealand. Aussie New Zealand has started to break out of the accumulation zone over here. We had this kind of downward uh, move here followed by a correction. It has now started to push to the downside and it broke out of the lower channel line here, this downward sloping trend line, as you can see. We have also a key area of support, which you can see held here and here and also over here somewhat. And that is the 1.04187. Now it failed to hold here. You can see it spiked down below here and it came back up and they tried to use this support area to push price back up, but it actually failed and pulled down. Price is now accumulating underneath the bottom of this channel. So we may get a little push up and a retest of the 1.04187 area here. Now, if we get a retest of this area, we're going to be looking to initiate shorts. We're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear either where it sits now at the bottom of the channel or just above up here at the key area of support, which was broken 1.04187. And if we get the right kind of bearish formations and patterns in this area and this broken support level starts to act as resistance, we're going to be looking to initiate shorts down to the 1.03340 area down here. Now, this is a very significant area of support on the Aussie New Zealand. We could see a bounce at this level, so we will be looking to take our profits at the 1.0334 should we get the opportunity arise to take this to the downside next week. So that is it for me for this week. If you like this video, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. Take care and good luck.